Hi guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. We're waiting out a little rainstorm that just popped up right over Lake Ray Roberts here. It's August, early August, what I think the 4th, something like that, 2019. And uh, it's actually starting to come down a little harder. Maybe we're on the edge of this thing. Anyway, what I like to do is give you guys who watch specifically for the Texas Fly Fishing Reports, the wide picture and the narrow picture, starting usually with a narrow picture of what I do. I fly fish for carp here on Lake Ray Roberts in North Texas, about an hour north of Dallas in Fort Worth, Texas. So it's been off and on all summer long. Things are normalizing really well now here on Lake Ray Roberts with fish showing up, the water levels stabilized until it's rain event. And uh, so what we're doing is kind of prospecting today, eventually, maybe. I don't know, I mean, it's pretty, it's getting worse, but these things are popping up in one spot. It's not like a long line or anything like that. It should just go away in a few minutes. Um, so it's been really good here on Lake Ray Roberts. And of course, as we go into August and September, we get into top water action for sand bass, which is a whole other can of worms, so to speak. Really fun stuff, really exciting, kind of like playing whack-a-mole in the larger scale. If you pan out to the wider picture, Texas is really stabilized now because the rain stopped and the heat finally came on, even though it's not tremendously hot with these rains. So everything's kind of looking normal. I went to Port O'Connor a few weeks ago. Um, we didn't see or catch any fish. It was on a full moon, so I'm starting to think that full moon is not the time to go. Any of you have an opinion on that, please let me know. Also, uh, be sure and visit www.texasflycaster.com for all that information that uh, is not found on the YouTube channel, Texas Flycaster. It's, it's a, 11 years of information there and uh, a lot of words and a lot of a lot of valuable words that will help you catch more fish and learn how to fly fish that's www.texasflycaster.com so the big picture is in texas saltwater is fine um, normalizing and you know that means some of that fresh water is finally been flushed out of the system with the tides and the winds that we had we had winds that lasted longer this summer than usual uh, it's still summer in Texas, of course. It's going to be 100 degrees later this week. Uh, but it stayed cool a little longer than usual, and it also was very windy. And so the winds also enhanced tide changes and activities in tides. Put a lot of water in the inshore system. Offshore, it looks like they're having a great time. You know, conventional people catching lots of fish and the snapper season was spectacular. I'm, I think they might have even had to close it early um, because of the quotas. As always, be sure and look at the scroll at the end of this video, which goes through the TPWD uh, broadcast that they do of a, of a written thing talking about conditions. I wonder how much they actually change those conditions because they, the wording doesn't change from week to week a whole lot on several lakes. Maybe it's the same every week. I don't know. But anyway, check out the scroll. Make sure you hit pause and fast forward if you find spots that are boring or, or and hit, hit pause if they're interesting. Thanks for watching. I want you guys to have a great week. Let me know what you're doing when it comes to fly fishing in Texas. Let me know if you want to book a trip. My phone number right here below here, 940-380-0408. And you can also get on a uh, quick instant message texting list that I have for instant updates on conditions. So I can update you in real time when I'm fly fishing to let you know where, what, why, not why. We know why because it's a blast, but how? So anyway, there's my phone number, 940-380-0408, www.texasflycaster.com. If you need photography, I am a professional photographer on top of all the other things I do, www.shannondrawe.com is that website. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. Just in time for the rain to stop. Perfect.